Hello and welcome back here to the spa grounds at Shotley Bridge and Shotley Bridge just coming to the close of their innings 242 for 2 in the 44th and it's Newton who bowls to Greenwell who was 108 not out he's just gone to 109 now and he's um, with that little cut shot and that was the end of the over the end of the 44th so um, we've had one wicket since we were last on air. It just fell a few moments ago. It was Milburn who was bowled by Sam Peter for his second wicket for a fine score of 81. But it's um, Greenwell who's taken the initiative here. The captain he's gone on and it's 109 for him. He's just getting a new set of gloves at the moment. Um, the sweat must be trickling down the wrists. And uh, he's way back over there now there's a few drinks coming on as well so I'm a little delay and play here but uh, six overs left um, of the maximum 50 here for the home side and it's 243 for two and it will be uh, Sam Peter who's going to bowl again and he'll be going from right to left as we watch him here down behind the deep extra cover boundary just to the right of the clubhouse here at the spa grounds and we've just lost probably the youngest uh, spectator here this afternoon. He was a little tot just playing around on the boundary rope in front of us. But he has Sam Peter now to bowl. He's there driven but mistimed in the air. One bounce is a shot and there might be a run out there. Yes, he's run out. And that was a good throw from Paul Newton who was quite deep there at wide, deep, mid-off. And he got the ball right arm through in to the bowler's end. And it's Greenwell, I think, who gone. The new batsman in was Mick Allen. And I think this was Ross Andrews, who looks as if he's going in by the walk and the short hair on the back there. Um, we'll get a better look when he turns around. And the applause there as Greenwell made his way off, run out for 109, the score 243 for 3, Shotley Bridge. So a run out there, that um, pushing for two runs. And now as the sun still beats down here for our four o'clock broadcast welcome to you you're more than welcome to listen in um, here on Cricket West Town program on the Speaker Internet Radio Network but here's Sam Peter bowling to Alan who hits high over um, Newton has a chance for Colin uh, McCabe he's got it he, what a run and catch there so another one goes it's Alan who's out um, the right hander he tried to drive that one and he didn't get enough on it it went over Newton there at wide Minoff and Colin McCabe, the new lad for Tyndale, um, his first game today, he takes a good catch on the run from long off. So, two wickets fall at 243, a run out, and a caught there. So, another wicket to Peter, three for Sam Peter. He took three in the week against Allendale as well, so it's been a good week for the young lad. So the Tyndale pegging the score back here. It's 243 for three, for four now. And in goes the new man for Shotley Bridge. He'll be at the non-striker's end and it will be Andrews who's going to face up here um, to our left. And it'll be Sam Peter to bowl again. So the field placings here, long off, long on. Um, a wide mid off and a wide mid on. A deep square, um, a third man, a deep cover. So five out and four in. And there's a swing and a miss outside the off. A bit of a waft there. Um, at this late stage, 243 on the board for four wickets. Both batsmen on... Um, Nought here for the home side, and it will be Sam Peter just back to his mark now. And here he is, one for 33 in his last league game, three for 20 
in the week and there he bowls and that one's firmly hit back up the pitch and Peter got half a hand up it there to slow it down and it's picked up and he again makes his um, way back to his mark huh? 3 for 20 in the week against Alan Dale in the cup and now um, 3 wickets down at the spa grounds this afternoon but here he goes now bowling again and there's a nice little late um, cut off the face down to third man where Rainford picks it up and throws into Crichton and he keeps it to one there for Shotley Bridge so the score goes to 244 for four in the 45th yes we've still got uh, um, this over still in progress I thought maybe with the umpire um, he swapped sides here for the left hander and here's Peter again in he goes to bowl past the umpire now and bowls and there's a nice firm push up to long off and Stacey Levy back with us here back from the land of the nod feeling better and that's the end of the over there um, there was a run at the end there from it so we'll just wait till the scoreboard clicks over again that was the end of the 45th so five overs to go here for the tea break and it's going to be Paul Newton the right arm slower bowler spin bowler for Tyndale um, he's been wheeling away from that end the score box end coming in from left to right as we watch for a few of us now but he's going to come around the wicket here um, and he's going to have a look the sight screen just on the move at that bottom end there a little delay in play we've still got the bright sunshine but there's a good breeze whistling through the trees across to the riverside to our left here but here's Newton between umpire and stumps to bowl forward push there and it goes straight back to the bowler and there is no run Newton quickly back to his mark and he was 1 for 44 and 3 for 77 in his last two league games so there's he bowls again and that one's hit firmly up too long off this time where Rainford fields in the shadows down there um, it's about the only place on the field at the moment where the trees are just blocking out the sun a bit and he'll be pleased he hasn't really moved there from all game he's been um, fielding down the third man I wonder if he put that in as a request for that reason but a change in the field here that short third man's Callan McGabe's come into the covers um, Mannion goes a little straight at backward point and there's a swing and a miss outside the off and Crichton didn't take it cleanly and um, Andrews there he was well forward but he didn't um, worry about it because Crichton didn't take it cleanly the stumping chance but here's Newton again now hits it back to the bowler this time a couple of bounces and Newton takes it cleanly it was well pitched up that one um, just about on off or outside but here's Newton again little shorter this time and it's hooked up not timed but it's bounced now there's a running stop on the um, boundary down to our left at mid-wicket um, Captain Kant there, Tom Kant dives to his right to field that one and throws in to Crichton the wicketkeeper and there's a couple of runs so 248 for four now here's Paul Newton again now in he comes he's there and there's a big shot that'll be six long it goes yes into the tree down at the um just the wide long on boundary and down the bank as well so six more to the total there at the end of that over and that's the 250 up for shotley bridge at the end of the 46th over that one so four overs to go now in this innings here at the spa grounds the fifth game of the fifth round of matches for these two teams shortly before the day's game away up there on 120 points at the top of the table Tyndale slipped down last week with that defeat to Lanchester but it's going to be Sam Peter to continue from 
the right hand side as he runs into bowl now and that one's played a missed at outside the off stump through to Crichton the wicket keeper good length ball there and it's got up a little bit about waist tight um, not much foot movement either but we'll um, see what happens with this next one a little change in the field here that's Paul Newton who's dropped back come a little straighter into the covers extra cover and drop back onto the edge of the circle in front of us here but here's um, oh he's bowled him he's, oh he's out and I think that hit the corner of the bottom of the bat there and the ball just skidded back onto the stump so Sam Peter has his fourth wicket of the afternoon and um, 254 for five now Shotley Bridge and Sam Peter gets another one and the new batsman going in I'm just having a look I think it's Lewis Hall who's going in now um, can never tell with the hard hat on so four wickets, four wickets for Sam Peter this afternoon and one run out um, the tally and the wickets have fallen at 33, 230, 243, 243 and 254 yes Sam Peter again going for his fifth wicket of the afternoon in and bowls that's pulled away fine up towards the scoreboard and that's Hall there, the right-hander, got onto that one and took it fine past the left hand of Newton there, who's a short fine leg. So four more to the total. That takes it to 258 for five. So whatever the result in this match this afternoon, Shotley have guaranteed themselves five batting points and Tyndale at the moment two bowling points. Now oh, here's Peter again, just at the end of his run. Winds into it now, bowling to Hall. He's there and goes for the big swing and it's missed outside the off stump through to Crichton, the wicketkeeper. And there's no run. And there's an abundance of cabbage white butterflies flying about here at the spa grounds this afternoon on what's a balmy afternoon. Um, if only it was like this last year but here we go it's Peter again and that's turned to the leg side and it runs up there to Parker who jogs around to his right to fetch that one and he does so and gives the ball a little polish and the score goes to 259 for 5 in the 47th over here And here's Peter again, just at the end of his run. Swings around now, into his gallop, up past the umpire and bowls. He has the next shot, a big swing, and it's pulled up towards the practice nets on the far side. And it's picked up now. The batsmen are safe in the crease as the ball lands in Crichton's gloves on the half volley there. And that's the end of the over. Uh, single added at the end there, 260 for five. Um, and there's three overs remaining in this innings and welcome to if you've joined us at four o'clock this is our second broadcast of the afternoon here on Spreaker Internet Radio the Cricket West Town program and we're just approaching the tea break in this match as one of the umpires there just signs his marks in the end of that over and puts the little card back in his pocket but we've got a change of bowling now across to the score box end it's going to be Tom Cant the captain who comes back on he went wicketless in the week, <coughs> but um, 4 for 43 in the last match last week and 1 for 51 the week before that. Here he goes now, bowling in, he comes, there's a nice little chip up in the air, it's going to fall safe I think, David Newton's after it, um, towards the long, old fashioned long stop position there, took a rather top edge that shot with um, not the power on it to get it to the boundary but one runs at it anyway and it's 261 for five now now here's Tom Cant again 
Hall faces. Um, that was a fast full ball, that one. And uh, didn't get the ball anywhere near it. And here he's back, the youngest spectator here this afternoon, getting pushed around on his little push chair come bicycle. And here's Kant again now, he's there in bowls, and that one's down the leg, and it's clipped away. And yes, it came off the bat, the umpire signals four runs from the bat there, down to the fine leg boundary, and the ball trickles away up into the woods. And with a Tyndale fielder, I didn't see who it was, but he disappears in there too to try and find it. It's David Newton. And he's back out now, um, and throws the ball back. Two six five for five, Shuttle Bridge. Two of us to go after this one. Hall faces Kant. Um, a big swing and he's got it away. He's kept it down and it's coming up towards us for four to the long leg boundary. And another four added to the total. That's 269 for five. And I had a text message before saying 286 might be um, a good score for Shotley. Well, a prediction of that would be the score. It's not going to be far off here. As um, Tom Kant comes in the ball again, Hall again, tries to guide this one. And there's a lovely shot up towards the third man boundary, a late cut. And all, um, most of the Shotley batsmen this afternoon have had control over that one. They've been dominant with it. They've been back on the stumps, watching the ball. They seem to have had plenty of time to play it. And again, that was shown there when that delicate, of, delicate cut shot went up for four past at fine third man so 273 for five and now here's Kant Bowles another big shot a big swing and that'll be six long and away over to the left over the straight mid wicket boundary and that takes the score at the end of the 48 to 279 for five and Hall definitely hauled that one out of the ground So 279 for 5. Here we go now. What have we got? It's going to be um, Sam Peter to start off. Three wickets, uh, four wickets already this afternoon and a run out so far for the visitors. And the two umpires meeting for a little chat. I don't know what they're talking about. Um, has somebody gone off the field at the moment? I didn't see anybody come off the field. Um... But they're looking over this way, I think. Um, we're not missing any of the batsmen. Oh, well, we're still looking for the ball, aren't we? Oh, the ball has gone that far. Um, away into the woods to our left. And down towards the river there. That um, William Dagg it is who's been sent in to find a new one. And he throws it out now. And the umpire's just having a little check of it there. Before we can carry on with the game. Kevin Milburn and Greenwell, a partnership of 197 this afternoon. As in goes Peter again, and there's Andrews who hits it hard in the air a bit, but it's on the floor now as McCabe fields it across to our right, down at long off. Um, and there's just one run to the total. 280 now, 280 for five, Shotley Bridge in the 49th. So just one to go after this one. And then the players can all go off, have a cup of tea and a good jug of water and the sandwiches but here's Peter now he runs in the ball and that one's turned to the leg side up towards the practice nets there the loping Ewan Stevenson runs towards it picks it up fires it in to Crichton the wicketkeeper and there's one run added to the total and it was um, Hall again there who goes to 24 with that one 2 8 one. and here we go again now Andrews on strike the right hander this time a big wide stance Peter in, and who's hits it high over square leg. Stevenson picks up now. It came to him on the double bounce there. He throws it into Crichton, so another single to the total. Um, 2 8 2, 13 is Andrew's score there, and he is at the non striker's end now. So we've got five back for Tyndale as Peter's in again now. 
past the umpire to bowl the hall. He's there who goes back and then forward and swacks this one straight into the hands of Mannion down at Longhorn. So, five wicket haul for Sam Peter this afternoon. Very well done. Congratulations to him. It's 2 8 2 for 6 now, Shotley Bridge. So, five wickets to Sam Peter. And Mannion takes the catch there. And the sixth wicket falls for Shotley. A 2 8 2. And that guarantees. Three points, three ball and bonus points for Tyndale, whatever the result this afternoon. So here's Sam Peter again, he's going to ball to Andrews. The batsman must have crossed there with that shot. So um, it's a day for a hat here this afternoon, although there's a few who haven't got them on. But um, Peter again now bowls to Andrews, he's there and bowls, and this is swallowed through and beats the left hand of extra cover Newton there. And that was a cross batted drive and it didn't half skid across the surface there and for four runs out to our right hand side. So four more to the total at the end of that over. The penultimate over, 286 for five. Now Shotley Bridge. 286 for six. It's just changed over there. I'm going to start looking at my sheets here. Um, but they're no guarantee neither though. But 286 for six after 49 over Shotley Bridge. Well, it's going to be Tom Cant, the captain, to bowl um, the last over of the first inning here, the first innings of this match. And he's going to bowl to me, I think it is, who's gone in there for Shotley Bridge. Right hander, he's there and bowls, and there's a drive straight down the ground, and he's got four for it. Well, what a nicely timed shot there. It was a full ball, um, the, the Cant. Uh, um, a despairing dive back at the bowler's end across to our left um, and that sends the score up to 290 for 6 Shotley Bridge 290 for 6 in the last over here this afternoon and now we're going to another um, search party has been initiated out to the riverside there so um, as said before, yeah, that um, it's a bit better than last year, that awful scenario we faced down here at the spa grounds when the rain intervened and um, extraordinary scenes in the last game of the season last year. But that will be all forgotten anyway as these two teams take it up the match this afternoon. And just looking back at the record, you can last, ma last year's match was abandoned, but um, shortly... Shotley Bridge um, 3 to nil, the record of the last five seasons here at um, the Spa Grounds versus Tyndale 2013 and 2014 Shotley won by five wickets the game in 2015 was abandoned as a draw um, and 2016 Shotley won by 107 runs I remember that game because the Australian Curtis Lucas had a bit of a cameo at the end pelting the wedding tent with sixes but um, here's Kant to me and he's hit this one off the edge and that's beaten Manny in its third man and another four to the total and poor Tom Kant over there um, he must think all the chickens have left the roost never mind come home um, 284 for six now I think that should be 294 for six after that last four but here we go here's Kant again now um, he's in and bowls and that one's playing a miss outside the off this time from a May and um, very tall lean figure um, out there at the crease at the moment um, 294 for six here we go here's Kant May's down the pitch and uh, there he's out Caught and bowled. That was a good catch there from Kant. A fast catch. Hit hard. And he's got it. And a little round of applause there. 
It was hit hard and straight on the up and can stretch to jump a little bit above his head. And that's the seventh wicket to fall for Shotley and Tom Kant's first ball, first wicket of the afternoon. And it's two, nine, four for seven. So Joe Gibson goes out to bat for Shotley. And he's on his way to the crease now. Um, a little change in the field here. We'll just have a couple of balls left of this first inning. So, 294 for 7. Um, we'll bring you that official score later on. Um, but here's Candidates who's going to bowl. Still 5 out and 4 in for the visitors here. If I've counted that right. But here's Cant now. Gibson's down and then pushes that one up towards the scoreboard and slightly to the left where it's fielded um, by Parker up there at long off. And there was a single, so 295. Um, we've got the score at the moment. 295 for seven. Shotley Bridge. Now here's Kant. Bowls. There's a drive. A cover drive over the head of Peter there, extra cover. Stevenson bolts around to his right, slides, picks it up, throws in. They're going for the runs here. There'll be a shot from Kant. No, they'll not. Um, they've run it, and that was the last ball, I think. So there was two runs, three runs off that um, last one. So here they go. That's it. The end of the shot, Leonins, and I'll make that the score 2-9-7. Unless the scoreboard was wrong before, and it's come down to 2 8 7, but we'll have a look um, at the end. But that's the end of the innings anyway, and as the players make their way off, it's time for a cup of tea. Um, Andrew's making his way off here with Gibson, and here comes the Tyndale fielders as well. That was for the Shotley Batsman. Now here comes the man of the moment for Tyndale. Sam Peter, five wickets this afternoon. And there we go. The players just make their way off for the tee. So, um, the scoreboard's reading 287 for seven at the moment. Um, I think we'll have to come back. And when we start again, our next broadcast's at five o'clock. And um, we'll bring you an update as time they'll take up the chase. But from here at um, the spa grounds at the moment, we'll leave you until 5 o'clock with Shotley at the moment having scored unconfirmed 287 for 7 from their 50 overs. So I'll speak to you again at 5 o'clock. It was a big um, 197 run partnership from Kevin Milburn and Paul Greenwell that did most in the innings and um, five wickets for Sam Peter, the standout for Tyndale as well. So there we go. After the last 10 overs, Shotley managed um, just about 80 runs off the last 10 overs to get their score up as well. But the groundsmen are out there now and I'm keeping going here. I'll just talk my way through till half past four and then we'll get a good half hour break before um, we go on at five again when we come back to you here. But Milburn was 81 and then it was Greenwell 103 he scored and the final score 287 for seven at the moment but we'll confirm that when we come back at five o'clock when we bring you an update after the players have had the tea here. Tyndale um, will set off the chase, a long chase it will be, but the conditions have shown they're good for batting, so hopefully we'll be in for a cracking chase here at the spa grounds this afternoon. But that's it from me, Matthew Erskine, for the moment, here on Spreaker Internet Radio. Um, we'll be back at five o'clock for an update and perhaps a few overs of commentary as well. So there we go. Speak to you again at five o'clock.